getting out of bed. I'm in an emergency situation. The, um, the device I made The device I made 100% works for, works for the, the goal or the reason that I made it. It absolutely pulls my jaw forward and locks it in. So it's... <laughs> You know, I'm proud of myself that I made this thing with one goal in mind, and it actually works. But my throat is closing with my jaw moving forward. So there's more going on here than just my jaw moving too far back. I'm having a hard time talking because I'm so traumatized. So I figured out it's more than just my jaw moving back. My throat is closing up. Awake. It's hard to explain. When I relax enough to fall asleep, everything is closed up in here. The roof of the mouth, the tongue, the roof of the mouth is coming down, the tongue is going up and back. Um, like I'm just closing off. My air supply just is gone. And my body is in crisis. My heart and lungs are in crisis from not sleeping. Last night, I went to bed at 9.30 p.m., like nine hours early because I'm so exhausted. And I thought, even if I just get an hour of sleep, it's going to help me. I fell asleep at nine o'clock this morning for an hour and a half. I've been in bed for 17 hours. No, yep, 17 hours. I had an hour and a half of sleep. I'm in medical crisis here. And I'm in a dangerous position. Because of the ignorance of people. And I don't mean that in a mean, bad way. I literally mean from the lack of education. And people are hair trigger when they see somebody in crisis. And they have to push that panic button. And call the police or the crisis line. And then people in charge respond with ignorance and lack of education. It's ignorance and unwillingness to listen. The ignorance of people in charge and people in positions of power. It's the ignorance of doctors and bullheadedness and stubbornness and making assumptions and patient profiling that has gotten me to this point. So if someone pushes the panic button, and ignorance is in charge, like it usually is, I people don't realize I can literally be harmed, injured, killed if the wrong thing is done. 
if I'm hauled off to a psych ward or forced drugged or forced sleeping pills or forced a major tranquilizer and my throat is closing. I'm at risk for death or stroke or heart attack. People don't realize, you know, the medical reality is this is a medical emergency. My insides are like this. I slept an hour and a half. My, 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 like my nervous system, my insides are literally shaking. What I need is uh, likely a tracheostomy, which we discussed over a year ago and the ball was dropped. This is why I've been fighting for my life and fighting for a health advocate to fight for me and fight with me so that the right thing is done, so that tragedy doesn't happen here. I feel like the healthcare system, a lot of the people in the healthcare system have been waiting for me to suicide because they think this is too complicated. No one's willing to take the time to, to see this through and fight for me. A tracheostomy is a last resort and it's horror. And it's not what you want. It's not what I want. It's not what a doctor wants to do to a patient. It's not it's not the ideal situation. The reality is I'm not sleeping and it's going to, this is going to end tragically if I don't get actual medical help. And that doesn't mean I want the healthcare system forcing their way in, making dumbass decisions. A doctor is in charge who's not willing to listen. This is what brought me to this point is negligence, is willing, uh, an unwillingness to listen, patient, horrific patient profiling, horrific patient profiling, and just an intense desire to cover up their mistakes and actions and blame it on me, refusal to tell me the truth about things, refusal to push, push for Referrals when I desperately needed them. Family doctors just not feeling like it, not believing that I'm in crisis, not believing that I'm stopping breathing. Just ignorance, just ignorance. And they will do whatever they have to do to cover up the mistakes that they've made. People don't realize that. I slept an hour last, an hour and a half last night. I'm ready to, to fall over. What most people here don't realize is I've had a healthcare advocate for almost a year. My healthcare advocate is watching these videos and I'm waiting on her day and night, day and night for a year now. What has happened is she's not, and, and I don't mean this in, in, you know, I know this can be mis, misconstrued and she's, she's watching my videos. She's minimized the situation. She's, she's not taken me seriously that this is a medical emergency. This has always been a medical emergency, and I don't think she has realized how bad this situation is. I'm in financial crisis. I'm in absolute financial crisis. And that's the part that she's been focusing on. Well, I, I told her I told her a year ago when we met, I'm going to lose my house. I'm in the process of losing my house. I'm going to lose my home. I'm going to be forced out of my home. She didn't believe that was going to happen. She didn't believe it. She 
she promised me you're going to be in your house for the next 35 years. I, I'm going to put a stop to it. It's not going to happen. We're now at the point where, you know, this is a disaster and I'm going to be taken out of my home in, in two weeks. In less than two weeks, I have to go check the paperwork. I'm sleeping 